Today we're looking at the app Meeting Recorder. Meeting Recorder is available in the App Store. And what this app allows you to do is basically to record any, uh, all information relating to any meetings. Uh, so if you're a business person or um, you know someone of that type where you're going into some sort of meeting, uh, manager or something like that, secretary, uh, whatever you may be, um, and if you have any meetings that you need to go to, this is an app that easily allows you to record any information going on during that meeting, especially if you're in charge of organizing the meeting and taking the minutes and all of those things. So when you first open the app, this is what you're going to see, and uh, you basically set up meetings within projects. Uh, so let's say you have a certain set of meetings you're going through for a specific project, then you could uh, create a project simply by going in here to add, and you give it a name. And so we just select a little box here, and we're just going to name it, whoops, I just uncapped, so we can hit project one. We're going to put that in. And uh, just make it simple, we're going to hit add, and now we have a new project. And then from there, what we do is we come in here into this box, and to add a meeting, we simply just come in here and hit add meeting. And so we're going to come in here and put add, and now we have a new meeting. And so there's a few things we need to set up here. The first thing is the meeting name, which we're just going to simply name meeting one. So we have meeting one, and then we come in here and we choose a seating plan setup if you'd like. So if you have a group of 10 or less, you choose small group, and for small group, what you're going to see is this little conference table come up and then you can simply put names so you could put uh, you know the name of the person if you have a list of people that are going to be sitting there and this is going to be useful um, once you get into actually recording the meeting and I'll show you why so if you have a list or something um, and you know who you're meeting with and you're recording stuff then um, you will be this is going to be of use to you so we're just going to put three people in and we have that entered we're going to hit done so now that's saved. We'll come back to the conference setting here um, on another a little later, but after that then we have our date and time and then our venue. Our venue would just simply be wherever you're at. If you're at your office, you know, we could just put something like office. So we're going to have that in there and hit done. So now then we can also set an agenda. So if you know the meeting agenda, you can go through that. Um, you know, if maybe your secretary in charge of you know, organizing um, a meeting or someone else who is organizing a meeting, you can come through and set the agenda. So we have minutes, you know, we'll say something like that. And then we'll talk about, you know, we'll say fiscal year. Um, we'll add that and then maybe projected sales. And then we'll also add budget. And we'll just add four categories there and then we hit done, right? So at this point then everything's uh, pretty much set here. We can save the setting if we choose to and so it'll be like a preset that we'll be able to come back to and it'll be in here for when we're ready to go. Um, then otherwise if we're ready to go to start the meeting we just hit start meeting and it asks are you sure you want to start you hit yes. So then you have all your information here for this meeting and here we have our seating chart, we have our agenda and we have our recorder up here which allows us to record audio. So once the meeting starts if I'd like to I can come in here and it's pretty cool. I can hit start. I can start recording the meeting here. So um, we're going to hit yes, and then we can tap this. This tells us that the minutes are going on right now. And so um, it tells us that one second into the meeting, the minutes have started. Now, if someone starts talking about a specific thing, I can select this person, and it's going to bring up this little note section here, and I can make notes. And I can make anything, um, I could take any notes necessary that I need to regarding what's being said. So, for instance, you know, we'll just type something really simple in, like this was a good year, and I can tag this however I like, you know. Um, so I just come in here into tags, and this will make it searchable for later on, and that's done. Now, let's say that the meeting progresses to the next spot, then I just select fiscal year. And again, I can make, um, you know, any comments about anyone else. So this is guest two that's talking, and I can type in whatever I need to. So I'm just going to type in really simple stuff here just to get the point across. Um, but as you can see, you know, it's, it's really useful because you can make notes. It gives you the time cues at where these things were said. So if something's really important, you can actually make a written note of it, and then it'll give you the time, and you can go back through the recording later on and to that specific point in time if you're looking for it and be able to look up that audio spot. Um, so we can put, you know, whatever tag we want to put here and leave it at that. And so as you can see, you can just progress through the meeting and you can make multiple notes and things like that. And then what's cool is, um, you know, I'm just going to type in something just so it'll be done. 
But as you can see, like if you can, you can make any notes that you need to business related, and then you can scroll back through them, and they're all here. And I can pause this recorder at any time, and I can, and the timer will keep going, and then I can also continue recording from that point. So as you can see, um, this is the time up here of the actual meeting, and then this is my recording time. So I don't necessarily have to record the entire meeting, and I don't have to separate it into multiple files. This is all going to be one recordable file. So when the meeting ends up being finished, what I can simply do is I just hit end meeting up here. And if I hit end meeting and, ex and quit, I hit yes. And then at this point, now that meeting's saved. Now I can add multiple meetings to a project. So I come into this project, I have meeting one. If I want to add another, I could. But to review this meeting, I simply select it. And here we have all the notes that I took. And it says, you know, who said what. It says right here, it has the name of the guest. It says the tags that we mentioned, the time queue at which that note was taken. And I can hit, yes. come here and I can play the recording. And I can scroll through. And I can type in whatever I need to. So as you can see, like you can, it allows you to record not only the audio, but allows you to make notes based on specific time cues. And the great thing about this is that you can actually export. And so this allows me to export this, all these notes and things like that. Um, here out of uh, this app and onto my computer. I can also take the audio files if I'd like to and I can edit those on my computer further beyond what's just here in the app. Um, now I'm just going to show one other thing is if we come back in here and add another meeting the other option you have with seating plans is a conference and a conference is for 10 or more people and so at this point what it does is it doesn't create a seating chart you just create a long list so if you had you know, 25 people in the meeting and you had a list of them, you could create that list here and it would show up just like it would in the small group without the little seating chart plan. Um, so as you can see, it's just a really useful app in order to um, be able to just record anything that you need to in the meeting. It's easy to take notes. It's easy to, to record the audio along with the notes and have those kind of in sync with those time cues in order for you to easily be able to go back and review what was said and review the important things. If you want to now, once you have a long list of meetings, this allow, with those uh, uh, tags, you can come in here and filter. And uh, so this allows you then to go through and look at uh, diff your tags, your agenda, and your attendees, and you can sort notes by these things. So if I hit guest two, this will bring up anything to do with guest two within this project. So that's very useful. And also, if I need to, I can edit these uh, meetings and such. I can, I can delete meetings if I need to. Um, I can come in here and I can also delete projects if I need to. Um, if it's something maybe that I've exported out of the app and I no longer need it, I can delete that in order to free up space. So as you see, just a very useful app. It's called Meeting Recorder. It's available in the App Store. Pick it up today.